Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first four commandments, and now it's time to tackle the fifth, Thou shalt not kill. We've begun talking about whether particular actions can be considered murder, and now it's time to discuss stem cell research. Is that murder? As usual, if we want to understand whether stem cell research is murder, we need to know what precisely it is. Stem cells are a type of cell within the body of any human being who has reached the blastocyst stage or is older than that. There are two types, adult stem cells and embryonic stem cells. Adult stem cells exist in the body of an adult, and they act to repair and replenish damaged tissue within the adult body. Embryonic stem cells exist in the blastocyst and embryo, and they grow new cells, changing into all of the different kinds of specialized cells. They do this because embryonic stem cells have a property called pluripotency, which means multiple potentials. They can become different kinds of cells as the need arises and form different functions of the human body during its initial development. Of course, the phrase stem cell research just implies that one is researching stem cells, which can be done in a book or on the internet. This is clearly nothing murderous. However, the meaning that most people attach to this term is research on stem cells through harvesting and experimenting on them. This research clearly comes in two types, adult stem cell experimentation and embryonic stem cell experimentation. While stem cells within the adult body certainly serve a useful function, people aren't significantly harmed by the removal of a few, and experimenting on them is not murderous, any more than it's murderous to experiment on a sample of a person's blood. However, the case is different when removing stem cells from a developing blastocyst. Unlike the adult body, the blastocyst has a very limited number of stem cells at its disposal and needs those cells to develop properly. If they're removed, the blastocyst dies, rather like removing food from a starving man. Is this murder? What am I doing? Harvesting cells. Is this action evil by its nature? No. What is my intention in doing this act? To study them and gain knowledge. Is this an evil intention? No. Do the circumstances make this action evil? The circumstances are that I am killing a human being, and I know I am killing a human being. Therefore, this is willful murder. I won't get too much into the arguments against the blastocyst being human. I've covered all of that in my video on abortion. However, the response usually raised when one insists that embryonic stem cell experimentation is murder is that it's for a good cause, think of all the lives we'll save. There are a few things to say in response to that, however. First, that one may not do evil so that good may come of it. Ever. Even if we could be sure that lives would be saved through this act of murder, you still may never do this act, and we're far from sure of that. Secondly, that as embryonic stem cell experimentation has gone on, it's become increasingly clear that practical results don't generally arise from it, because the adult body isn't an embryo and doesn't react well to an infusion of embryonic stem cells. Third, that adult stem cell experimentation, however, has proven to be most useful, and that many practical results have already arisen from it, which makes sense, since they're adult stem cells, so an adult body accepts them. Finally, this is relatively recent news, only a year or two old, but a method has actually been found to give adult stem cells the trait of pluripotency. In other words, we can fabricate pluripotent cells from adult stem cells and don't need to get them through the costly and immoral process of killing human embryos. In the final analysis, the practice of embryonic stem cell experimentation is not only immoral, but at this point, worthless and passé as well. Next time, what about human cloning and artificial insemination? Are those things murder? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.